On the other hand, light buyers or infrequent users always are the biggest marketing challenge, as there are so many of them. But they are an important source of volume and, got a, and, and have a good potential for future growth. So let us show two videos how we have approached this category, new category, new to the category, light bias in the beginning. What the first video did was trying to create awareness of the service itself, access to internet and what it can do. Uh, the second one is clearly trying to target then a segment that has probably never used it before and give them a trial pack of 25 rupees. This slide shows you a rough segmentation of our customer base and their spend. For Vodafone, 30% of the revenues come from light users. And since they contribute substantial revenue, they cannot be ignored. In the telecom category, with multiple simming, you know, people carrying more than one sim, it is misleading to categorize all light users as consumers with low ability to spend. Because the customer might be using also your competitor's network, and going forward, he or she might become a heavy user if he or she shifts traffic or usage back to you. The 80-20 rule is an oversimplification and in most of the categories, including telecom, 20% of customers contribute anywhere between 55 to 60% of the volumes. And as a result, it is not correct to focus only on heavy and medium users, but we also need to understand our light users. This brings us to another reason why we in telecoms at least should keep focusing on the light users as what we have seen is that consumers over time change their consumption patterns. Consumers aren't always the way they seem as their future buying potential might be different from their current. This chart clearly illustrates the phenomena of how our customers change their usage over time. If you take the first column, March, and you compare it with June, then almost 25% of what were light users in March migrated actually and became heavy or medium users in June. So a significant switch in consumption. We try to predict which customers might make this shift in the future, uh, helped by sophisticated IT of course. In VUCA times, lean times, it can become for business an excuse to reduce investment, to protect short-term profitability. But for the longer term, this reduction in investment will very often prove to be negative for the brand. It also means that if others do that too, you can in leaner times get a higher return for your marketing expenditure. When the economy is slow, you can also get better efficiencies for your money. Cost of advertising is lower, as there are fewer businesses wanting space. Media costs are lower, thus you can invest more in brand building. Also, it is the right time to invest in building blocks for your future business. This slide shows you the level of capital investment of Vodafone over the last five years and the customer growth. Vodafone India has kept on investing in building mobile telephony infrastructure in spite of declining growth and acquisition, because we firmly believe that our future growth is dependent on actions that we take today. You have to keep the faith, otherwise you might regret it when the market turns. 
I've tried to give you some advice on what to do in times of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. Every industry is different, but consumers behave basically in similar ways, independent of categories. I wish you success in finding this trigger to make this consumer bend and pick up the value that he sees in your products. Thank you. for the future. We have uh, questions coming from the audience.